Okay, a local man is making sure part of San Antonio's history is never forgotten. He is doing more than just writing it down. Charles Williams has a museum full of memorabilia to tell the story of African Americans in this city. Our Katrina Weber recently got a chance to take that journey through time. The beginning of the tour will start right here. From the front door to the back walls, there's a story here that Charles Williams wants to show and tell. Dr. Heed, who was a significant city council person, our first black fireman, I was Mr. Sullivan. Can't say enough about the Iceman, George Gervin. He is a walking who's who of San Antonio, and now he finally has a chance to share it all. Just a lot of history you'll find here that I don't think you'll find anywhere else. The emphasis at the new Williams Historical Museum is on African-American history, local people who've made a difference. And these people laid the groundwork for us to be here today doing what we're doing and enjoying some of the benefits. Through words, photos, and his personal property, he paints a picture of the past. Uh, when we go into this little room, we call stepping back into time. Some displays are more personal than others. This is the scale that we weighed the cotton on right here. Williams left behind picking cotton in Granger, Texas for cutting hair in San Antonio in 1957. Impressed by local black business leaders at the time, he became an entrepreneur. Three years ago, he bought a crumbling historic church in the 500 block of Montana to fulfill a decades-long dream. I felt uh, a profound need to do this, not just for me, but for the community. A community that includes civic and civil rights leaders, artists, and athletes. Alongside all of these accomplishments are reminders of the painful past, all of this part of the African-American experience in San Antonio. Williams hopes all of it will impact the future. We're very proud of it, and I think it's going to be here for a long time. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.